everybody thank you for tuning in my name is Rosalia this is my second video I've been getting into a lot of the multimedia on canvas I want to give a shout out to several people who have inspired me to really go way out of my comfort level uh, Gabrielle Polanco Jane Gray Rach O113 Stampin Scrappin Company with the Inca Gold I learned a lot in that video and I did get some uh, the artists that all the artists that work with our journal, they have beautiful ideas that you can incorporate also in your canvases. Lemore Weber uh, and Lovely Scrampins collages have inspired me to use a lot of the metal uh, things that I've gathered from the the garage and the steampunk stuff and and things like that. Thank you so much, and I hope from this video I I, I will also inspire others. I want to start out by. Um, showing you the uh, those thick trimmings that because I, I do so also and I used to do a lot of tape tapestry stuff so um, I have pieces that I've held on for years because I'm into art now so I don't do a whole lot of sewing but I've used them I took them out when I started viewing those videos and the things that they the, the artists use used I just took those pieces out and started incorporating them in my paintings I'm a very abstract person so nothing that needs to make sense when I when I do my art and you'll you'll see from the paintings that I will show you this trimming here I made a very nice uh, curtain and look at the piece nice and thick it's just so beautiful when you feel it lots lots of texture and I just love it and I use uh, pieces of uh, cardstock I just ripped them up doesn't again doesn't have to make sense a lot of the uh, sprays that are out there like uh, for instance, the smooch spritz, the smooch, oh sorry, smooch sprays. This I got it on sale for four dollars. I think it's a lot more than that. And I got they come in different colors, other colors like the red, the yellow, the metal, the um, silver, and uh, other colors. So I took and I I just went ahead and 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 spritz away. And I use a lot of Mod Podge. I did cover my canvas with gesso, and then I laid things down and started. Uh, sealing them and gluing them with a Mod Podge and hot glue, whatever glue will do what I think it'll. It, I think it needs to to stay on. Um, a lot of the metal pieces, like Lovely Scrapping, had uh, uh, inspired me to use just stuff that I got from the, the garage nails. I mean, you know, whatever, whichever way you want to layer them, and it, it just turned out so nice. Some of these rings are. I also do chainmail. I really love chainmail, and I use some of the rings. Um, the gear, as you can see here, uh, I made this one myself, and I think I did this one also from Grinch Board. Yes, I did. Silly me. From uh, Grunge Board, and I used the uh, Tim Holtz alteration. Uh, it was on sale, eleven dollars, I think. You know, those things cost like twenty dollars or whatever. Um, and I uh, incorporated that among uh, the things that I have, and it's really nice cuts, really nice, and I love that type of board. Um, again, thanking all the artists out there. I learned how to use do these Prima flowers, I guess they call them, but I use all kinds of paper. I don't do, just use one color because this is art. Anything goes. It's abstract. I don't just use one, one color because I know flowers are imperfect, as they say, but I just use any color and just form that. This is from a stencil, again, from the spritz. I just, you know, did a stencil thing here. I have to tell you, this area, look at all the texture. This is just beautiful. Underneath this piece here, underneath this piece here, I have this fabric. I bought this fabric many years ago from Walmart. And um, I have a, 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 at least 10 yards. I still probably have uh, 10 yards of it. And it's just beautiful. Okay, look at that. I, I, I use this on a couple of my art pieces. And this this area here, I wish I can separate it here a moment, um, is what you see. Look at that texture. Oh, just gorgeous. That is what's under here. And it, you can see that area right there. That's it. And then I took this here. That's that tool. I think I'm saying it right. This here. Oh, my God. It's just gorgeous. Look at the texture that it gave me right over that. So I layered it right over, over it. And it's just wonderful. Nice piece. Um, I also wanted to uh, show you here that I use the ornamental iron for a, a cartridge from Cricut. 
overlap these two here again they go that tool just a piece of card stock I just it has a little butterfly in it you know um, and it just looks great I threw some some black paint um, watered down that's how I got these nice black spots there I hate to get too details but it's uh, just awesome they go my trimming again and I put that tool over it and it just if you do if you wet it enough with the glue and just go ahead and take your finger and just mold it in it just it's just beautiful that's what I did I molded it really good um, I discussed that trimming I have for years from some other project um, flowers that I learned from YouTube and I wanted to keep these white and they're hard right now they're hard because I put a lot of Mod Podge it's, uh, gesso first and then Mod Podge it because I wanted to balance this key here I purposely left that key uh, uh, white again I got the iron uh, ornamental iron stuff and this piece here love it a lot of texture okay just love it. I don't know what it's called, but I saw it and bought it, and I, I like using that. Tissue paper to give me all this texture here. This paper I had for years, and I took and I painted it with, uh, just did, just painted it up and had it, and I thought I'd use it, and it just melts right into my canvas as if it just belongs there. Um, a leather piece from a friend of mine that works at the hospital where I work at. Uh, RJ and he gave me these just scraps of leather and this is how I use the second piece that I've used and uh, just did some stamping on it and wonderful another trimming another trimming and um, this that's it that's on on this canvas and I, I just love it more of the flowers it just turned out so beautiful I wanted to share with you also this one here this one here has that fabric that I t spoke to you about all I mean, it was the it was the 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 lay. I just layered it all down. I cut it to the size of the canvas, and it's all under there. And you'll see the tool. Also, I use that that tool uh, fabric that I showed you. Okay, I use that. Um, this uh, these are die cut pieces, ornamental. This is a grass. Let me show you what that is. I got it from that expo, scrapping expo, whatever. And I just took it and cut a piece and. Did a lot of gluing on it. it just looks wonderful. Just wonderful. Uh, uh, some uh, pieces of iron that, I, I don't know, of uh, filigree I think I had. A couple of flower, uh, uh, butterflies from the stick on and all that. Piece of paper. Look at that fabric. That's This is the fabric. All this here. That's the fabric. Just gave me such texture. It's just, just gorgeous. Okay. The bubble thing. Look at that. Okay. Let me tell you about this. This this uh, design here that design was from the negative of the Grinch board Grinch board that I bought and that's the negative I did not throw it away and I I just put it down and I got that effect look at it isn't that beautiful that's what I got I did it there and I did it over here also and this piece here at this corner sorry I went a little too fast but uh, again from the ornamental and I spritz it and I made my own, you know, some of my own. Uh, some of it is also the Inca gold that I, I put down. And it that fab, this is a, another piece of a trimming that I put down in there also. And that fabric was just awesome. I got this from um, Michael's just the other day. This is the scrap from the wheels, the gear that I cut out. You know, the metal piece that comes out that's just scrap. This piece is another piece of metal. Let me tell you really quick here. I took... And just glued it down, took some of the uh, this teal uh, tissue. I had a nice teal tissue paper. I wish I had it to show it to you. But I just put it down, mod podged it and everything. Look how, look at that effect. And then I put another piece of metal there. But look at that effect. It's just gorgeous. Again, look at the fabric. Look at the fabric. Just beautiful. Then again, that other um, grass, that other piece here. I just took a long look at that. Oh my God. I just love that. I just loved it. Went all the way. The paints and all that. It's just, it was at random. I don't think I can du duplicate any of my abstracts multimedia. And a uh, Indian type of paper that I have, a pad, and just laid it on top. Okay. And um, that's what I created. And I, and I And I just love it. I just love it. Another piece I want to show you, I don't know, uh, uh, it was one of my first actually that I took and um, did a lot of the cardstock paper. And this here, I got to tell you, that is 
um, the texture magic dimensional paints beautiful from uh, I mean this was a, a long time ago this is you go way back when um, and I still had some and I used it I don't even know if they Michael still has it because that's where I got it from but I use a stencil and it gives you that uh, uh, 3d uh, that and it feels really good uh, just just cardstock again this is the other color that I have with the paste the texture magic um, ornamental iron another trimming a little bling bling on the paper I don't know whatever's under there I just covered it up I just did I did a lot of texture again this wrench from the from my garage and again that 3d that texture uh, texture magic uh, turned out really nice my trimming and it's uh, just beautiful another one that I want to show you is is this one here that I'm still not crazy about it? Let me turn around. I'm not crazy about it, but I still like it. It has a lot of texture, different things in it. You know, the uh, chicken wire stencil. Uh, again, that uh, texture magic stuff and piece of music here and there. And I just, uh, a lot of trimming. I just feel like still it's just not quite enough for me. Sorry, I'm going to kind of turn around because this is a bigger... This is a bigger canvas. I forget what oh, this is the way it is. A uh, trimming. Okay, right here. Trimming. Um, um, I did my own little pearls with the hot glue. Threw it in there. Did a little dimensional. Follow that that design. And that's what I came up with. And trimming. And it was a, an abstract painting previously. And I just covered it up. And some of it I kept. Okay, so this is what it was. And a lot of other, you know, stuff on uh, painting under there so I thought I'd share that I hope that I have inspired um, those who are watching my video and maybe one day I'll do it from start to finish I just got to get it together thank you so much everybody bye